Welcome back to Roadsteading. Ben and Lauren here. And is your Wallace Nordic DT making this noise? Ours was, and it had us a little nervous. We're going to talk about what it was doing, shipping it to Scan Marine, and what they said the problem was. So let's get into it. Over the past three or four months, we had started having more and more issues with our Wallace Nordic DT. It was making this howling noise. It was taking longer and longer to start up. It was starting to glow in the burn chamber that you could see through the ceramic cooktop. And we were starting to smell diesel fumes inside the cabin. At this point, we were very nervous about using it and knew we needed to contact ScanMarine. Now we are big do-it-yourselfers and we wanted to fix this issue ourselves. We work on our D5 diesel heater ourselves quite often. We also send it to Rickson's Enterprises too for service once in a while when we're lazy. But we really wanted to fix this problem ourselves. According to ScanMarine, we cannot work on these in the field just yet. So we, we had to pack it up in a box and ship it to Seattle, Washington. And it had us nervous, you know, to walk into a UPS store and drop off our, our cooktop. Once ScanMarine received our stovetop and they were able to troubleshoot the issues with it, they found that we had a weak glow plug and that the intake fan wasn't operating properly. Now, fortunately and unfortunately, our stovetop was still under warranty, so they did the work at no cost to us and got the stovetop running again. The bad part about that is we don't know what that cost would have been if it had been out of pocket to us and eventually I'm sure there are going to be parts that need to be repaired and replaced so it would be nice to kind of know what we can anticipate in the future. Now we have received the stovetop back We've reinstalled it and it has been working perfectly ever since. We are super happy with it. Until next time, remember to seek, learn, experience, and grow.